Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Thank you uh, very much for tuning in and welcome to another Let's Eat where obviously I'll be uh, eating an A, uh, Dairy Queen barbecue sandwich and then following it up with a peanut butter parfait. So make yourself comfortable. I'm gonna open up everything here, um, but real quick, I just wanted to say that um, I hope life is treating you well and that, you know, if you're going through anything serious, you know, you know how life is, it's, it's ups and downs, you know. Um, I hope you can make uh, quick work of it and uh, I, I wish you all the best in that regard. Okay, um, take these out of here. This is the uh, barbecue beef sandwich. Well, barbecue sandwich. I'll get to that in a minute. And this is the peanut butter parfait. Um, now, there's. Uh, a particular reason, well, so yeah, that I'm uh, doing Dairy Queen uh, for this Let's Eat. I was going to do, uh, which I will be doing uh, the week, uh, next week, the next Let's Eat. Um, the Big Mac versus the Whopper, because I, I love both of those. And I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a, you know, like a showdown type of video. Which one is really, do I like the best? So that'll be the next Let's eat. But as I was uh, mulling that over, um, I was I um, remembered uh, the uh, Dairy Queen barbecue sandwich, and uh, let me show you that. This isn't something that I normally have. Um, I've been having, uh, I've been eating at Dairy Queen since man, the 70s. Um, I'm surprised I'm not dead yet. Well, between that and the Arby's and the McDonald's and the Burger King and the Wendy's and the pizza. <laughs> now, I don't, I don't know what it is about my metabolism, but um, anyway, um, so this is the barbecue sandwich that you get. Now, a funny thing, uh, this is two dollars and fifty nine cents, and this is it's got some weight to it. I don't know, maybe about a half a pound. I'm not really good at weighing anything uh, like that. And in comparison, this is five dollars and fifty nine cents, almost six bucks. So three dollars for um, some kind of mystery meat, pork or beef, um, with a barbecue sauce and some bread. Or, um, you know, ice cream with chocolate and nuts, you know, for six bucks. So, I just like, kind of thought it was funny. The sandwich is like half the price of the ice cream. <laughs> um, anyway, so let me open this up. Um, have you ever had, uh, have you ever gone to Dairy Queen? Now, I think Dairy Queen is only here in the United States. There's about 64, 6,500 Dairy Queen chains. And I just found out that Warren Buffett is like one of the owners or investors or something, you know, billionaire. Um, so I guess I should say um, thank you, Warren Buffett. Thank, thank you, Buffett, Mr. Mr. Buffett. Um, but... This is a really nice, actually, crinkly wrapper. Just listen to that. Mm. 
This is probably one of the best. Wrappers. On the market. No, but no, it's there's just something I don't know what it is about food. I'm assuming that you love food just as much as I do. So it's um, it's gonna be very sloppy. So here is the uh, barbecue sandwich. Now I have uh, no idea what kind of uh, meat it is. Just open up the roll. It's got a sesame seed bun. Nice, uh, soft, like a Big Mac sesame seed bun. All right, and there's the, the barbecue beef. No nope, meat. I have no idea, but it's delicious. <laughs> um, the reason... Just move this over to the side here. I'll just keep this... Right here, just kind of teases you, you know, just like, I gotta be a little evil, you know, taunt you with ice cream. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you have a Dairy Queen where you live. I know most of my viewers are here in the United States, but I know some of you are also scattered across the world. So, um, Dairy Queen, I, like I said, I've been know I cut down on the ice cream now as you get older and your life becomes a little bit more well some of our lives become a little bit more sedentary less active um, you know it all depends on who you are really um, but all right the barbecue sandwich though this was my this was my first introduction um, and not the best way to be introduced uh, to barbecue well, this was my first uh, introduction to barbecue. Um, I've, I've had one of these sandwiches uh, in my early teens, uh, back in the 80s. And I just loved it. Whenever I would go to Dairy Queen, um, you know, we're just hanging out or kicking around with your friends or whatever, I would go get the barbecue sandwich um, from Dairy Queen. So this is like... Uh, one of my favorite uh, things to indulge in. One, I haven't had one though. Honestly, I don't know uh, the last time I had one. So, um, but you can see they slap on uh, a nice big old hunk of goopy barbecue meat. So, bon appetit. So that is just like I remembered it. It's um has a nice little tangy tanginess to it. Uh, sweet barbecue sauce. Um, I know there's like a Carolina barbecue. I think um, there's like two types of barbecue sauce. You know, when it comes to real barbecue, you know, there's like Carolina, and there's something else I can't think of. One of them, and it might be the Carolina barbecue, and I'm not trying to uh, say that this is like authentic barbecue, but when you don't have, you know, real barbecue near you, well, sometimes you just have to settle for less. <laughs> I 
normally I wouldn't wipe my mouth so much, but being as I'm on camera, I don't want to disgust you too much. Now, there's one thing I gotta say. Can you imagine what life would be like without cows or pigs? Think about that. Imagine what life would be like without ice cream and without hamburgers or barbecue beef sandwiches. Sandwiches. I think it'd be something like this. Hey everyone. Welcome to another Let's Eat Salad episode number 3274 where I will be eating salad Bon Appetit This is the best salad I ever had. So let's take a moment to give thanks to the food gods and to the universe and to randomness, random chance that this planet has the variety of indigenous life, plant and animal that uh, is just wonderful to eat. I could honestly eat two of these, but I didn't want to be too much of a pig. But like I said, delicious. This was really my first introduction, you know, because I grew up, you know, uh, having meatloaf for dinner, you know, pork chops, uh, you know, a, a bunch of different chicken a la king, one of my favorites, a lot of simple homemade, you know, home cooking. And then we go out to eat. There was McDonald's, Pizza Hut, Back then, in the '80s, there wasn't a lot of there wasn't as there weren't as many chain restaurants as there are today. And then when I tried the barbecue beef, you know, I, I don't know even what made me want to try it um, back then. Um, I just oh, it's most it's delicious. I mean, I I think it's it might be pork or beef or both. I don't really know. I've never asked. 
but whatever they use for the barbecue sauce. It's that sweet and tangy. It's 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 like a perfect blend. Um, it's it's delicious. So if you've never had, if you've gone to bur um, if you've never had barbecue, and you have a place near you, like a Dairy Queen, you know, you know, give it a try. That's all I've ever done for the most part, and I'm a huge proponent of that. Trying something new. It's there is just an an almost limitless, you know, uh, world out there when it comes to food. Oh, and it's really just the same stuff. It's meat, it's, it's, you know, it's beef or pork or chicken or fish, just prepared in different ways. It's just, you know, it's a great thing to be human sometimes. <laughs> was it. Like I said, I could have eaten two of those. That was delicious though. I haven't had one of those. It had been, I don't know. It had has to have been. I came and I came and speak. I'm so excited that I had another barbecue sandwich. It has to have been years, a few years, if not a decade. I don't. I don't even know when the last time I had one. But um, if you ever have one, um, I, that's I kind of wanted to do this just to show you, you know, something else that you might not see. Um, uh, me eat or you know whatever's out there um, it's not very satisfying you know it's just meat and and, and bread <laughs> I really am still hungry of course I didn't have any breakfast either so that doesn't help um, but I'm trying to watch my calories a little bit here as I get older. All right. So yeah, if you never had it, you know, two fifty nine, you, you can't really, you can't really beat that. Um, most, most burgers or any kind of food, you know, you're you're talking four to five dollars, I think at least. Um, but yeah, that is um. One of my favorites is just, you know, I don't know if it's one of yours, um, or maybe it will be. You know? Yeah, it's, it's delicious. I, I just love the, it's just the soft roll, and just the, the right kind of perfect sauce. And the, I think the best part is the mystery meat. You don't really know. It's barbecue sandwich. You know, is it pork? Is it beef? Is it chicken? Is it a combination of all three? The world may never know. All right, now it's time for the Coupe de Grace peanut butter parfait. This is my favorite. I, whenever I go out, this is what I usually get. Um, just in case you're not familiar um, with Dairy Queen, so it's a it's a chain, and all their desserts are the same. Uh, this is a peanut butter parfait, um, uh, soft vanilla ice cream um, with 
hot fudge, three layers of hot fudge, top, middle, and the bottom, and then there's peanuts along with uh, each layer. And that's it. It's just hot fudge and ice cream and peanuts. It's <laughs> the best things ever. So let me open this up. Let me check out, let's check out this container. Not bad. No, that's up to snuff, I think, in the tingle department. But you have to be the judge of that. of it. I'm assuming that if you are a, a viewer or subscriber of mine that you eat dessert and you like ice cream. Otherwise, get at. I'm not kidding. Heather, leave right now, please. Dessert is the most important meal of the day. It really is. I don't think I... Sometimes there's, you know, I'll go without having a dessert. But it's rare. Uh, even... Oh, real funny. <laughs> Look at uh, Femo Riff. He's he got a little uh, ice cream on his uh, on his uh, mustache. <laughs> yeah, real funny. Now, why don't you go ahead and try to make uh, an ASMR video where everything is is perfectly quiet and you know the planes overhead. And there's no loud noises, and then and then edit it and try and make it. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Come on. I want to see you do that. And then all of a sudden you get a little what what you never had uh, ice cream on your mustache or you never had some kind of, you know, fucking whatever thing on your every person, place, body, uh, particles and food. Yeah, yeah, really funny. You know, I come sit here, I, I, you know, I, I try to do uh, a, a video as myself, you know, and stop doing all the uh, the characters for once and, and just try to be myself. And oh yeah, so I get a little ice cream on my mustache. Yeah, you know, because I, I can't really, you know, it's kind of hard to I don't know, I can't see, you know, really hard to see, you know, what's going on there on my lip. So, yeah, yeah, really funny. Yeah, whatever. You know what? I don't need this grief. I don't need this. Fuck it. I'm done. I'm done making videos. Whatever. Done. That's it. You don't need me. You don't deserve me. Hello everyone, I would uh, 
uh, like to uh, apologize for the scene that you just witnessed. Um, an ephemeral lift. Um, he is an artist, <laughs> and you know, very temperamental. Uh, so um, I have decided to take over his duties, and I will be editing the rest of the video uh, so that you can uh, relax, no more interruptions, um, and uh, yeah, so. Okay, so again, many apologies, and uh, we, everything will be normal now, okay? Enjoy. This is going to be difficult. Take this off, I guess. That's what we'll need to do. For, uh, I have never edited a video before, so we shall see how it works out. Okay, just like this. Okay. Okay, let's see. Huh. So many things to push. That's, uh, what do we do here? I don't know, push some button. Ah, there we go. Take care of yourself, and I wish you uh, safe travels on your uh, your journey in life. And I'll see you another. Okay, just mix it around. Get our spoon, load it up. Some of that ice cream—it's all melted now. You know, isn't that the, the great thing about ice cream? You know, just there we go. Get some of those peanuts. And get some of that. I don't like about being a YouTuber. I'm not here to be famous or to be a YouTuber. You know, I just want to do my thing. Grew up. It's the little small things, you know, in life. You know, it, life isn't about acquiring masses amount, massive amounts of wealth. I don't want more. I really don't. I never did. So you gotta mix it. Gotta mix it all up. Dairy Queen also has, they have a big uh, selection of ice cream. If you're a ice cream dessert fan, they have they had enough as so much sugar. <laughs> That and they get down there, it's like, you know, I'm about to pass out. Um, there's no uh, recipe. I want to say reciprocate. You know, it's it's a mutual thing. And that's the one thing I don't like. That. You gotta mix it up. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for uh, tuning in and watching. It's a, it's a mix of what you eat, I guess, sometimes, and your, you know, your DNA. Something called an orange Julius. Orange Julius used to be a separate company, I think. And then Dairy Queen, or maybe I should say Warren Buffett. <laughs> you know, 
brought them together. The, the original orange to eat anything. We're not really sure what we're supposed to eat, what we shouldn't eat. And, and you can just, you can just <laughs> trash your body, treat it however you like. You could eat healthy. And then, um, like Bill Hicks once uh, did a stand-up routine. It's you don't get the chance to make to have to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation as as I would love to. Julius, it's another one of my favorites. It's an orange drink. It's it's almost like an orange creamsicle type of drink. That's the best way I describe it. It's like a it's not it's not orange juice. It's like halfway between orange juice. wild I didn't care you know you know they talk about how you know, sometimes they say uh, the body your body is your temple right well I, I trashed my temple <laughs> well Gotta mix it up. Gotta have the perfect bite. The Whopper next week and and you know, more videos and always I appreciate you tuning in and um used to have, you know, a bowl of ice cream. Uh, did you ever have ice cream? with cake. Oh, it's delicious. Like chocolate cake. You know, they make those, um, I know they make the ice cream. Where I'm gonna do the, uh, the fast food showdown. I don't even know what I'm going to call it yet. I'm going to do the Big Mac versus the Whopper. You know? uh, the Whopper. I like the onion rings, but I think I'll do the Burger King fries and the Whopper versus the Big Mac. You want to have a meaning, meaningful conversation with someone. You know, it's, it, you know, and I would love that, but I, I just can't. So that's why I try to do these in a smoothie. I mean, that's how I would describe it. I'm not really sure if it is. I'll do cone once in a while. I'll get like a vanilla cone you know, or a chocolate cone. I'll the waffle cone, that's good too. Celebrities, we're just, we're talking at you. We're doing what we love, but is there any substance? It's just telling stories, it's talking about drama, and the books, and this, and then that, and then that, and that, and that, and be like a millionaire. And to have like a, you know, my ego out of control. When people in the world go without. Yeah. I, sorry, I just... <sighs> anyway, and then they mix in uh, crumbled up uh, Reese's peanut butter cup. And they also put like a glob of peanut butter in the middle, something like that. I'm just going to kind of finish this a little bit, and then that'll do it. So take care of yourself, and I wish you a uh, safe travel. Our species is weird. Every other species on this planet, animal, bug, whatever it might be, seems to know what it's supposed to eat. But then there's us. It's like, you know, we kind of diverged off of the rest. <laughs> I 
Happy Thoughts ice cream. Let's get down to the bottom there. Get some of that. Just like get. There you go. Just load up our spoon. Let's just get in there. Huh? Get your spoon right in there. And get just load it up with that hot fudge. That's it. Just like it's talk shows, it's news, it's just ba -ba 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 and making money doing that. But where's like the meaningful connection? You know what I mean? There's no um, I like the, um, the sweet and salty. You know, you got the salty peanuts. And of course, you got the, the ice cream, the hot fudge. Dairy Queen also has. Eight and a half. That's enough things to try to get as close to a meaningful conversation, even though it's one side. I mean, I could do a live chat, but those things, but. Yeah, you gotta you gotta mix this up and get the perfect bite. Ice cream, hot fudge, and peanuts. Every bite. Something about especially on the weekends or the summer. But something about having dinner on the weekends. Lunch. Then going to Dairy Queen. Then having that treat, you know, having a little I hope you enjoy Dairy Queen. Or if not, you got a glimpse into something that they that they sell or they make. Um, stay tuned for the Big Mac versus Jim Fix. He was a really health a health nut. And um just one day he you know, in his early thirties, Jim Fix, you know, died. And then you know you could be like George Burns. Smoking a cigar until you're your 80. Is that all right? Do you like that sound? Smoothie. But I don't think it is. See, then you have right down the bottom all that hot fudge. The time you get down there, that's usually for me, it's like, all right, I've had McDonald's fries. We all know the McDonald's fries. They're like the best, right? But the Burger King onion rings, they're the best, you know? I'm not going to eat both, but I'm going to buy both meals. And I'm just going to eat about half of each. And then I'll, you know, do this showdown. We, um, <clears throat> we have blizzards, which are, it's like a... Really thick shake, but you don't really you eat it with a spoon. And then just mix everything together. Like they have um, a Reese's Blizzard. It's chocolate ice cream, more vanilla ice cream cakes. I'm just talking about getting like one of your favorite ice cream varieties. And then if you have cake, if you happen to have, I mean, who doesn't have cake in their house, right? So if you do, you can go to Dairy Queen. What's your favorite? Are you a blizzard? Peanut butter parfait? A cone? You know, hopefully someone likes it. Somebody laughs. Hopefully I can make uh, some money doing it. So I can, you know, have food in the fridge and 
to you to do the thing that you know I enjoy. That's the whole the whole point. enjoy but the one thing about you know the one thing I as, as a YouTuber as you get bigger and bigger you know it's it's out of my control really so I'm not hot fudge load it right up there get it loaded up right on our spoon there we go just like that just like that mmm is some uh, being content <laughs> having food in the refrigerator that's it place to live I don't need to move to LA I don't need to have I don't need to have the YouTube channel and the podcast and the TV show That's the best part about ice cream, isn't it? When it gets like soup, and you can just drink it right out of the bowl. <laughs> I love the peanut butter parfait though, because of that's it. So. Uh, like I said in the beginning, meaningful conversations. It, it's so very important, but it seems anymore, all we're doing, myself, all these YouTubers, you know, and sometimes, especially when you don't have a lot, you don't have a lot of money or, you know, you just come from an average middle-class family. That's how I of every other species, and, and and here we are. We're like wandering around. We don't. We, we get happy little, happy little spoon, happy little hot fudge and peanuts and ice cream. Mm. Video in some form or fashion. Take care. Now let's just load up our. Spoon, get some of that hot fudge right on there, just like that. Um, I usually don't have dessert um, at night, but you know, for the first 35 years of my life, eh, close to 40, I was. Stay tuned for the next Let's Eat. Uh, next week, a few videos after this one. <laughs>